if you look at the uh, ByteDance, look at the particular app, which is literally called uh, today's headline, we, we, we firmly believe that uh, if for our news to be headlined, it must be the news that to you is most important. So what we have developed is a system that knows you and those, uh, the user and also knows what happened in the world. So basically connect the uh, information and the news with a particular person. So uh, traditionally, you will think about this as a, a recommendation system that will categorize uh, people into different categories and news into different ca categories. But we didn't do that. What we exactly we have been doing is we know you so well, we, we have your own uh, profile or model, or we know that this moment is this particular location, what you are interested in. Then we bring in the news, the video, and pictures that you most likely will be interested in and push to you. So in a sense, it's a search engine, but without you doing a search. It knows your you know, uh, taste. It knows what you need at this particular moment, at this particular place. So uh, uh, the, the uh, engine behind this magic is actually an AI engine. It learns about you, learns what happens in the world. So that's what excites me. The, I would say just like uh, the, the technology development in the past in, in all the major industrial revolution, Revolutions. I, I think those are issues we need to address, and that's why we have this uh, uh, ITU, we have this United Nations conference on AI for good and for sustainable uh, development. I, I, as a technologist, I am always optimistic, and uh, I, I believe those technology actually, the benefit that brought in, are much bigger than the side effect. And all the side effects that could bring in are addressable and it is if we took a proactive approach. And uh, if you look at the last 40 years, the, you know, the technology wave, each uh, new wave actually come faster and also have you know, bigger impact. And often, as we, as we have seen you know, in the last 20 years, as uh, uh, internet involved is, in particular, also is mobile internet involves. Uh, government and regulatory agencies are often slower in reacting, but uh, enterprises and uh, uh, companies, they are the first to feel the change and to adapt to the change and to develop the new technology and apply the new technology. So in establishing you know, rules, standard regulations to counter potential side effect, instead of just looking at government or international agencies, I would say enterprises, actually, private enterprises actually play a big role here. So that requires companies to take their own social responsibility. And that requires we build up trust and we become, we, we uh, should be m more open and to collaborate. Uh, in this particular case, I, I would uh, say that in particular, you know, the world should open to Chinese entrepreneurs, Chinese startups. If you look at the last five years uh, 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 on the uh, mobile internet uh, development, I would say it, it's so clear that in this uh, world there are two leaders or two centers of innovation. One is obviously the US, another one is actually China. China definitely need from the uh, uh, application technology uh, angle. If you look at uh, WeChat, if you look at uh, 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 Alipay, if you look at uh, 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 ByteDance uh, application, the, uh, uh, today's headline, personalized news uh, feed. We're not talking about uh, China for uh, you know, uh, following other parties, uh, other places, other companies. Actually, China are leading, and uh, is not just you know leading because uh, a government initiative is not. Is leading because the entrepreneurs, especially the young generation of entrepreneurs, they have the vision. They are open-minded. They like to collaborate with their partners or even competitors worldwide. And from day one. 
they think that particular technology, particular app, particular, particular uh, services they are, they are building will, be, will benefit not only users in China, but also worldwide, like the uh, company I work with, uh, ByteDance, like the uh, particular app, uh, today's headline. We have over 600 million users. Large part of it is actually overseas in India, in uh, uh, Indonesia, in the US. So those entrepreneurs, those young energetic visionary engineers, I think we should work with them to define the future of AI or any other te new technology and to, to ensure those new technology will bring in benefit instead of side effect to uh, the society. So uh, uh, that's, uh, uh, those are the points I would like to bring in to this uh, UN conference on AI for good. And that actually will be a core part of my uh, uh, presentation and also panel discussion tomorrow. Thank <laughs> you.